in general my entire body feels very sore normally there's a sort of constant itch everywhere often the itch can lead to you rubbing it and then you actually rub your skin off and that obviously creates more wound It's quite normal to sort of wake up with quite a lot of blood on my pillow. I bleed a lot overnight just from sleeping. I don't really have any hair around here because the skin comes off quite a lot. Oh no, that looks terrible. I'll just try this. Normally there's always something hurting. Obviously I don't sort of go around my daily life thinking that hurts, but I don't really remember a time when there was actually nothing hurting. Epidermolysis bullosa is a skin condition that sort of causes the skin to lose its glue that sort of holds it on. So that means that with friction, Lots of the skin and all different parts of your body, including like eyes and your mouth, can come off very easily. I have recessive dystrophic EB. Recessive dystrophic affects the eyes and the mouth and the throat. So this means that I need to put eye drops in to make sure that my eye doesn't stick to my eyelid and then cause an abrasion. She is incredibly fragile um, and can get damaged very easily. So it takes about one and a half hours to do dressings in the morning and then two in the evening. I think it takes longer in the evening because I've still been walking around so there are more blisters on my feet. I normally wake up while mum's doing my dressing, so like my arms and stuff. And how what time do you wake up? <laughs> about six. Yeah, six. about six. Plan started about half past six. Um, sometimes it slips. <laughs> <laughs> We're always late for school. There hasn't been a day since Sahana was born that we haven't had to prick a blister. And I have to say that when I open up the packet and hear the crinkle, I think, oh, this means another blister to prick, but I can't imagine what that's like for Sahana, who hears that and knows that a needle's coming her way and there's nothing she's going to be able to do to really escape having it done. So. Yeah, so pricking blisters is one of the most painful parts of the dressing process. Like, blood blisters, so they're very, the top is like very thick, isn't it? So it's very difficult, you have to prick them lots and lots of times, um, so that's painful. Sahana was born with EB. We didn't know it when she was born because she was completely normal looking, apart from a very small patch on her neck. Um, but by the next morning, the skin had been rubbed off her ankles and her feet from the plastic tags that they put on at birth. And they gave us a very special pillow on discharge at the hospital. And she stayed on that pillow pretty much for six months. <laughs> we were terrified to pick her up and do anything with her. So when I go outside, sometimes people sort of ask questions and like, everyone stares a lot. When we're traveling and we go to security, once someone says that I can't go on the plane because I'm contagious, I'm like, no, I'm not, it's genetic. quite funny in a way it's just how I deal with the sort of problems I just see the funny side of it. Sahana was never able to ride a bike she can't really do sport she's never really had the pleasure of climbing a tree or even running can be quite painful she'll try and run but of course we 
didn't want her to fall over. Everything I can't do, I kind of wish I could, because obviously no one really likes to have those kind of limits. Hi, how are you? Thank you, how are you? Normally when I go out with my friends, I just do normal things. When I spend time with friends, we can just do anything that just not sport, basically. That was a lot of fun, actually. It was. And we did get some work done. I'm sorry. Not really, but you know. We, well, actually, I we did. I don't know what you were doing. No, I was trying to do that math paper. Oh, yeah. No, we drew on it instead. I've known Sahana for 11 years, I think, since year one. Yeah. <laughs> Before I knew Sahana, I obviously could tell she had EB. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah. It's but a secret. I don't think, because we were so young, I think we just grew up knowing this and it wasn't mm. something that bothered us. I think yeah. when you're older and you see someone, it might be a bit more shocking, but to us it was just one of our friends and that was just who she was. I, mean, <laughs> oh, I remember what I said, but it was so fun. No, it was Herbie One. You were pretending Herbie to be one. <laughs> In the space of time that we've been fundraising, we've managed to raise over five million pounds for EB research, which is good, but quite frankly, it's not enough. I don't think just because a treatment isn't a cure, it doesn't mean it shouldn't be sort of pursued because it can improve the lives of people with the condition so much. EB causes painful blisters that need to be pricked with a needle. Please pay e play EB pop for Curie B to make the blister stop. I don't think you ever really get completely used to pain. So for example, even if you experience something every day, it's still gonna hurt. It's just, it's not really surprising for me. I think obviously, because physically I'm quite different to most people, but like mentally I'm probably the same. I think I admire Sahana's humor, resilience, ability to just get on with life, despite everything that's thrown her way. She has an amazing ability to find enjoyment in um, all the things she can do without focusing too much on what she can't do.